because the energy, the energy in this room tonight, everybody, the energy in this room tonight doesn't reflect me. It reflects us. All right? Uh, the energy in this room is the definition of Team Birmingham. So y'all give it up for yourselves. So I got a couple things I need to do. Um, and the first thing I need to do, y'all, love you back. The first thing I need to do is acknowledge the, the four day year old has been reunited with their family. So that's great news. Now let me do this because I got a whole lot of thank yous I need to do tonight, but before I do that, I first want to acknowledge you all for being present. I want to acknowledge you for your support. I want to acknowledge you and thank you for your prayers and encouragement. And most importantly, I want to thank you for your vote. Thank you. Next thing I want to do is acknowledge my opponents. I actually received a call from William Bell. Yeah, y'all pay up and listen up right quick. I know, I know we're having a good time, but listen up. I want to take the time to acknowledge my opponents for a hard-fought race. I just, I just received a call from William Bell, not only congratulating me, but wishing me success. So I want to thank Mayor, former Mayor William Bell. Now, four years ago, everybody, four years ago, I ran for mayor because I told each and every single person in this room, each person that's viewing this, that we deserve better. I told you all four years ago that we will put people first. And every single day, that's what we've done. I made a commitment to the citizens of Birmingham that we will invest in our neighborhoods and that we will invest in our people. And so it was important that when we knocked on the 50,000 doors last year, I told the team whatever we did to get to the dance, we needed to do the same thing to remain on the dance floor. So this time we knocked on over 80,000 doors. And you see that group of people right there? They led the charge. So here's what you all wanted, and here's what you all deserve. You told us to invest in your neighborhoods, and we did. You told us to pave more streets, and we did. You told us to tear down this blight, and we did. You told us to invest in our younger generation and we did with the Birmingham Promise. And now Vision 2025 lays out in detail what we're gonna do on your behalf the next four years. So, let me get into my thank yous. First person I need to thank is our God for allowing me to be here. The second person I want to thank is my mom. Y'all yeah. give it up for Mama Whitham. So y'all check this out. I had too many people tell me that the only reason they voted for me is because of my mom. I also had somebody tell me if she was on the ballot, they would vote for her over me. But I also want to thank my dad, my stepmom, my sisters. I want to thank my niece. And I want to thank all
All right, you're listening in live there to Mayor Randall Woodfin, thanking not only his mother and father, but also thanking supporters for their encouragement tonight and thanking them more importantly for their vote. He talked about that he said four years ago that he would put people first, and he said that's what he's going to continue to do for the next couple of years. He also said four years ago they knocked, he and his team knocked on 50,000 doors to get on the dance floor. This year they knocked on 80,000 doors to stay on the dance floor. Again, he has a commanding lead uh, during the Birmingham mayoral uh, election, and we will continue to monitor this uh, event as it progresses.